Hey guys, what to do, what to do, it's your girl Bakuka here back with another Kids Tales. I want to know, what do you guys think so far about these Kids Tales? Like, do you like them? Do you not like them? Like, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. But, today we're back with another Kid Tales, okay? So, you know, what to do, what to do, like, how has your week been? I know it's Saturday. I don't know like is it going good has your week been bad my week has been a little iffy so far i'm extremely tired but without all this talking let's let's really get into the video let's get into these drinks so as you guys can know francisco is in here as well so if you hear a little bell dingling that's him i try my best to not take him out of the room because i don't want to be that type of person and i don't want to feel attacked by the dog moms that pretty much like oh so where's Francisco? You're not going to put him in the video. You're not going to leave him in the room. So he's here. If you hear that noise, just know it's him making his entrance, saying hi, hello. Okay? But today, the drinks that I have for you guys is a pineapple gin cocktail. And then I have a strawberry gin smash. Okay? So full disclosure before we get into these drinks. I did make this video in the beginning of this week. However... This camera of mine decided to die. The battery died and I did take, be the person I am, try to prepare. I got extra batteries in advance so that if something like this was supposed to happen, I can replace them with the batteries. The batteries I got sucked. So I returned them today and I'm waiting for new batteries to come because we just can't have this happen. And we just can't be having these hiccups. Like, and I've been having a lot of hiccups with this camera, and particularly, I don't know what's happening from, like, the video gods, but someone needs to work into my favor. Like, I'm trying real hard. Your girl is tired, okay? I got this hat on because my, I just took my hair out. I gotta wash it, so, you know, look at me rambling. Renee, y'all don't care. So, let's get into this video. So, the first drink I'm going to be making is the pineapple gin cocktail. So like I told you guys, I did make this drink in the beginning of this week. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys which, one's up, which one is my favorite as yet. I just let you guys hear it for yourself. But I did make these drinks already. So I had to pretty much redo the video because the camera died. The footage that I got from my phone was not good enough for me. Um, it probably would have been perfectly fine for you guys. But it's just a certain type of quality I want to give you guys. And I'm trying to be consistent with that. So that's the only reason why it is what it is. But we're making this drink again. So for this drink, this drink is shaken. Okay. So as you know, I have my shaker tins here. I have my rocks glass, which the drink will be going in. I add the ice closer to when I'm building the drink into the cup. But as of right now, here's my jigger. So for this drink, you need gin, of course. So this is a drink for my gin lovers. Um, I'm not really big on gin. I'm not really a gin girl. But I decided, I, I kind of wanted to switch it up. I wanted to give this a try for the people who do like gin. And here, here you go. Here's a gin, a gin recipe, okay? So for this recipe, you need one and a half ounce of gin. Okay? And then you need... Four ounces of pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. I really hope that I have enough because remember, I made this drink ahead of time and the pineapple juice I got was pretty much just enough. So I think I'm like cutting it real close and I am. Look at that. Four ounces exact with a little left over so I'm just going to pour it in. No point in leaving that in there. So you got your four ounces of gin. You got your pineapple juice. Your four ounces of gin, sorry. Your four ounces of pineapple juice and your one and a half ounce of gin. That goes in there as well. And then this drink gets a lime. So I'm just squeezing the lime in here. Nope, I did not cut it on camera. Nope, don't ask me why. Listen, y'all got a tutorial last week. Figure it out. 
we ain't gonna be doing this every week um all my fruits i did not cut on camera um because i just wanted to speed it up the fact that i was rambling in the beginning um this needs to be speed up so i got my lime in here go with my ice scooper so i'm using my hand because honestly i don't have time for the splashing that this causes so there you go there's your drink let's shake I wasn't like, trying to get this stuck like the last time because I tell you guys all the time like I suck at doing that and yeah I think I'm playing but I'm serious as well. so with this just move everything to the side with this I am going to decorate my cup um I purchased these tongues today because I'm one of you guys like oh my god Renee you're touching it with your hand even though I feel like it's much better for me to just touch it with my hand because look what just happened the whole pineapple just broke like it just pretty much snapped the foolery with these things sometimes um but like I told you guys if I was making this drink for someone other than myself um I would have used my hands I would be more sanitary but I'm the only one drinking this, so I don't have time. So I'm just gonna put two pineapple wheels at the side of the cup to make like a decoration in a sense, and I'm gonna add ice to the cup. Yes, yeah, so I'm using my hands. Just makes everything go a little bit faster. So ice. And the drink is here, which I'm going to pour into the cup. And obviously, if I have more left over than what it is, it's because um, either I overshaked or I just made more than I needed to. But I honestly, I just feel like I just overshaked on that. So this is the pineapple gin cocktail. So let's try it. This one is really good. Um, I think this is, for me, it's more of a brunch drink. Or even like, obviously a summer drink. Like this is what I would get if it was a special on a brunch menu. Um, it's very refreshing, it's very balanced. You don't really taste too much of the gin, so like obviously this is a drink that you could probably keep throwing back and it'll sneak up on you later on. These are the type of drinks I like. Um, but I like it, it's really good. For anyone who really loves pineapple, this is like the perfect drink for you to have. And listen, I am a island girl by heart and I am from the island. So like things like pineapple, mangoes and stuff like that, I really love a lot. So this is my drink. I, I, I really like this one a lot. So we're going to just put it to the side. Honestly, let's just put it over here. Let's put it to the side. And we're going to move on to the next drink. So the next drink that we will be making is called a strawberry gin smash. So with this drink, um, we're not using a shaker. We're not using a mixing glass. We're building it directly into the cup. This is a high ball cup. Well, glass. Um, we're building everything into this cup. So in this recipe, it gets sugar, granulated sugar. It was one half um, teaspoon of sugar and then it gets lime juice so it goes to lime juice guys even the lime juice into the cup and it the recipe did say to use a spoon um to pretty much dissolve the sugar that's going inside of it um i have a muddler so I'm going to be using that to kind of like dissolve it because like what's the point of me having this tool if I'm not going to use it I'm going to be using the spoon. So I'm going to use this to dissolve the sugar a little bit and don't ask me those stupid questions like Renee 
How do you know the sugar dissolved? Obviously, when you don't see it anymore, be have common sense, guys. That's that's what you know. So, as of right now, the sugar is dissolved. That took about what a good 15 seconds, the most. Okay. Don't make this drink and be like, Renee, it didn't take me 15 seconds. Listen, I ain't tell you that was the exact time. I just told you it took about. About was the key word. So I'm adding strawberries because we also have to smash some of the strawberries as well. This is where I think the name came about in this recipe. So... I'm putting two strawberries in here to be smashed. You don't have to go crazy. You're not making mashed potatoes, guys. You're like slightly smashing it. Don't go in here trying to make you no know, mashed potatoes with the strawberries. You're slightly just smashing it. You can use your spoon. You can use a spoon. Um, and Or you could use, if you have this tool in the house, you can use this as well. But like I said, don't go crazy because if you in here smashing this like it's mashed potatoes and you end up getting a whole bunch of strawberry going up your straw or whatever it is and you end up not liking it, I didn't tell you to do that. You did it on your own, okay? So I smashed it a little bit. So now I'm going to add my ice to this. So this is the type of drink that you build in the, in the cup directly. Um... There's a lot of cocktails, a lot of drinks in general that you you can build inside your cup. Um, I'm gonna try to make a mixture of drinks that you you pretty much make in a mixing glass or a shaker, or you can build in a cup so that you guys can have an idea of what those drinks are. So with this recipe, you have three ounces of gin. So this is two ounces right here. Two ounces. And flip it over. This is an ounce. Okay. Add that. And then, oh my God! You know what I missed in the next other recipe? I didn't even tell you guys. Oh, Jesus, look at me, half doing the recipe. It gets sparkling water, so let me drink this down a little bit. It does get sparkling water. Oh, Jesus, look at that. It, it was like I never made this drink before. Jesus Christ. So this gets sparkling water. So the sparkling water is what makes it refreshing, and it just gives you that even balance. I'm so sorry, guys. Making these drinks more than once this week just got me all types of confused. So, with this drink, you have your gin. Um, you can wait to, to pretty much stir this after you finish with your adding your club soda. This gets club soda. This one gets sparkling water. Please let me know what's the difference between club soda and sparkling water because I always thought they were the same thing, but. My coworker told me that they're not. He didn't tell me exactly why, but he was pretty much just saying that um, club soda is used a lot for cocktails and sparkling water isn't. So obviously there's probably a taste difference or whatever the situation is, but I don't know what the difference is. So please don't come in the comments asking me what the difference is because I don't know. So I'm just adding more strawberries to drink just to give it a better look, just make it pretty. It goes the strawberry and here goes the club soda I'm just adding to the top and don't get me wrong guys this drink is so pretty like it's such a pretty drink you would think to yourself that like, you're just drinking water but like look at this this looks so refreshing this looks just like summer in a cup like let's just try it So, with this drink, compared to the pineapple gin cocktail, it's 
way stronger way stronger so like i told you guys i'm not a big gym person so when i first tried this it hit me really hard like it i tasted that gin immediately and it's not a this is not a bad drink but if you are a gin person i think this is a perfect drink for you that you, that's evenly balanced as far as like it not being too sweet but you're still getting to taste that the gin um for me i'm not i'm a type of person that don't really like to taste alcohol so i i do prefer my drinks on the slightly more sweeter side um however if you had a real rough day and you wanted the weight of the world to be lifted off your shoulders have a few of of these this strawberry gin smash and you'll be you'll be on cloud a thousand trust and believe like that's what this drink is giving me this drink is more like a brunch drink it's real cute you got with your friends you got a few of these and you can still be like the designated driver but remember don't drink and drive i'm not telling you guys to go out there drinking and drive don't don't do that okay but this drink is much more settled. It's not too strong and you don't really taste the gin, if you, especially if you're not a person who likes gin. Um, so if I had to pick out of the two which one I prefer, I would prefer the pineapple only because I don't get that gin taste immediately. Like it's not something I, it, that hits me fast enough. So I would pick this drink over that. But if I was having a rough day, this pineapple cocktail, it's not going to do nothing for me. I'm going to need to make a few of these to be perfectly fine and forget that. Whatever happened today, for sure. So, I will say, try these drinks and let me know what you guys think. Because, um, you know, like, I'm trying to make everything for everyone. I just, I want to come in here and try to be able to relate to you guys a little bit. Like, because, you know, I'm not the most cool person or entertaining person. I could be very boring when I want to, especially when I'm tired. So, that's what this drink is. This is what this drink is giving you. Um, you can garnish it with a strawberry if you like. This also asked for mint, but I kept forgetting to get the mint. So, y'all got what y'all got. Take it or leave it. It is what it is. But, this is what I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching my kid tales. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Like, you can also leave comments letting me know what you don't like or what you did like about the video. Like, I'm not going to take it anyway. It's just going to make me... Give you guys better content. And also, let me know if you guys made these drinks. So like, I, was, I, wanna, I just wanna get a feedback. I just wanna, I just wanna know, like, I'm just curious. Like, you guys don't have me making these drinks, trying to get me drunk, but y'all over there being sober. Like, that's, that's just not okay, okay? But thank you, thank you so much. I hope to see you guys next week with another Kid's Tale. And like I always say, Peace, love, and find your inner cool kid and be out, okay? Bye.